In this video, we're going to learn how to use the clear error function in C. So when accessing a file, we can have an error occur. And we can detect the error indicator with the F error function. We could also reach the end of the file. There would be an end of file indicator that we could detect with F EOF. The clear error function, clear ERR, will clear both of these indicators. So if we've encountered an error working with the file, we can clear that error and continue to work with the file. If we've reached the end of the file, and let's say more content has since been added to the file, we can clear the end of file indicator and continue to read from the file. So to help us understand, let's go over examples of each situation. So our first example will cause an error when accessing the file. We'll clear the error, and then we'll continue to work with the file. So here we'll say file star file to make a file pointer variable. And we'll say file is equal to f open. And we'll open the file file.txt in read mode. Now f open is going to return a file pointer. If it can't open the file successfully, it'll return null. So we'll check if file is equal to null. And if it is, we'll print f error opening file backslash n. And we're going to return one. So we're going to return one instead of returning zero because returning one is a signal to the shell, to the terminal here, that something went wrong in the execution of our program. Now that the file is open successfully, let's cause an error. We've opened the file in read mode. Let's try to write to the file. So we'll say f put c d and then file. So here we've tried to write the character d to the file. But because we've opened the file in read mode, this should cause an error. Now, if I were to try to read from the file after this, it's not going to work. And that's because this line of code is going to cause the error indicator to occur. And the error indicator is going to stay on until we clear it. So if we try to read from the file and we stop when either we reach the end of the file or until an error has occurred, we're not going to be able to read anything from the file. So let's actually detect that the error has occurred first. So we'll say if f error file, then printf write error backslash n. So first we'll detect the error. But after that, let's try to read from the file. So we'll say int c while true. And because I'm using the Boolean true value here, I'm going to have to include stbool.h. So next we'll try to read in each character. We'll say c is equal to f get c file. And we're going to stop this loop if either f eof or f error return true when past the file pointer. If we don't have an error and we don't have the end of the file, we're going to print f the character we just read on a new line. So we might hope that after this error has occurred, we're still able to read from the file, but it's not going to work because that error has occurred. We'll detect it here and we'll stop reading from the file. Now this file does have ABC in it. It has some contents, but if we save this and do a compilation and then run our program, we'll get right error and that's it. And that's because this loop never gets to print out any characters. Because the error has occurred, we detect it, and we're done. We could clear the error, though. So here, we'll call the clear ERR function with this file pointer here. We'll save this, do a recompilation, and run it. And now we get right error, but then ABC. So we can use the clear error function to continue to work with a file even after there's been an error while working with it. So we could use a function as part of recovery code, for example, to recover after an error has occurred. We can also use the clear error function to continue to work with a file even after we've reached the end of the file. So let's go over an example of that. We're going to create two file pointers now. We're going to create one file pointer that's going to be for reading from a file. 
and then we'll create another file pointer for writing to the file. So we'll say file star file write. And what we're going to do is simulate a situation where a file is being continuously written to. Maybe it's a log file or something like that. And we want to continuously read from the file. What we'll do is write some content to the file and we'll read that content using our file read file pointer. Now we will reach the end of the file. What we'll do is use the clear error function to clear the end of file indicator. So that way, even after we append some additional content to the file, we can use that same file read pointer to read from the file again. So first let's open the file using these two file pointers. We'll say file read is equal to f open file.txt and then r. And file write is equal to f open file.txt and then w. If either of these is null, we know there's been an issue opening the file and we'll exit with an error. So if file read or file write is equal to null, then we're going to do a printf and a return one. So we'll say return one and printf error opening files backslash n. Next, we'll put some characters in the file using the file write handle. So we'll say f put c and we'll put in w followed by x and we'll say file right here and then we're going to close our access to the file. So we're going to write two characters to file.txt and then we're going to close it. And remember, when we're using the write mode here, whatever contents are in the file now are going to be erased. We're going to start off with a fresh file. And we're going to write to that file the character w and the character x. Then we close our access to the file. And then next, let's try to read whatever content is in the file so far. So read up until the end of the file. Let's make a function to do that. So we can call the function multiple times. We'll call the function dump file. So we'll say void dump file file star file. And the dump file function is not going to return anything, but it will accept the file pointer as an argument. And all it's going to do is output each character in the file. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And we'll make a loop. We'll say in C while true C is equal to f get c for this file pointer. And if we reach the end of the file, or there's been an error reading the file, then we'll break and stop. Otherwise, we're going to print out this character we just read in from the file, followed by a new line. Now when we're done, we're going to also print out file dump complete with a new line. So now we'll try doing a dump of our file using this function. So up here, we'll say dump file and we'll use the file read file pointer. After we're done, we can close the file. So we'll say close the file read pointer. So we'll save this, do a recompilation, give this a try, and we get wx file dump complete. So we expect that because we wrote w and x to the file and then our dump file is going to dump out whatever's in the file one character at a time on each line. What if we call dump file again? So here, if I tried to call dump file again, save this, do a recompilation and run it, the second time we run it, we just get file dump complete. And again, that makes sense. We've already read until the end of the file. So if we just call the dump file function again, at that point, it would be complete. What if we try to append some new characters to the file? So let's actually create another file handle here. And we're going to append some additional characters to the file. We'll say file star file append. This time, we're going to open the file in append mode. So we'll say open up file.txt in append mode. That's what A means. 
if there was an error again, we'll exit with an error status. So we'll say printf error opening file backslash n, and we're going to return one here. Now let's try to actually add some additional characters to the file. So we'll say f put c, and we've got wx, so we'll say y, file append, and then f put c, we'll say z here, and then file append. So here we're appending, we're adding two additional characters to the file, y and z. Then when we're done, we'll close this file append file pointer. What happens now if we call dump file? If we call dump file, we're no longer at the end of the file in terms of the characters we've read in. There's two more characters. So we'll say dump file and file read. And we'll save this. We'll recompile the program and we'll run it. And we get file dump complete a third time. But we never printed out the characters Y and Z that we know are in the file. So what's happened here is that the end of file indicator has already been set. And unless we use the clear error function to clear that indicator, we're just going to stop reading the file again because FEOF is going to return true here. So let's actually try to call the clear error function before calling dump file again. So we'll say clear error file read. So we'll save this. We'll do a recompilation and we'll try it again. Now we get WX, the two file dump completes, and then we get YZ and file dump complete. And so what's happened here is that after clearing the end of file indicator, the dump file function is able to continue reading the file because FEOF file is no longer returning true. So that's how we can use the clear error function to clear the end of file indicator and the error indicator to help us in situations like this where we want to continue working with the file either after an error has occurred or after we've previously reached the end of the file. Now, one important thing we should note is that the rewind function will also clear the error indicator and the end of file indicator. And the fseek function will clear the end of file indicator as well, but not the error indicator. So that's how we could use the clear error function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.